Oh, there we go. Greetings, all. Shard Vixen here. Alright, I'm trying a different camera and a different setup, so I don't know how this is going to look, because I have to be careful of it all. Alright, so what we're going to do is Kool-Aid coloring uh, papers. I already did some coffee stain, which I didn't film this because I had some issues with the cameras. Um, so I'm going to try and do Kool-Aid, and then I'll show you what they all look like. It's Blue and red, blue and red, and silver and gold, silver and gold. I'm gonna get some. Stir that. Now this may be too much water for the for the coloring. I don't know. So we're going to see. Like I said, this is all an experiment. It's really hard to find Kool-Aid anywhere too. So, uh, nowadays. And then I'm over here I've got another pan. Blue Raspberry Lemonade. See? Okay. I'm telling you, it took, I had to go to four different stores for this. Alright, so. If you want to see a better example of this done, Al, jo John, Amy, does it. So we're going to do a couple of different pieces of paper. We're going to do this paper first. I'm going to stick it in there. Rainbows are good. So it's a different piece of paper. Whiter. A little whiter. So white might be good to get the color to come out. We're going to do three. That's what I usually do is three of three different papers. I might do some crinkly for the parchment because I'm going to cook them in the oven. I'm not, I can't dry them outside. So what is she doing? Well, I'm crinkling stuff up because, you know, we all have to crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Alright, so I'm going to put that one in there too. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pull one of these out and see what happens. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of color myself, but hey, I'll try it anyway. Alright, so I wanted to show you before I put back in the oven. This is the one I scrunched up. Okay, so it has, I don't, you can't tell here, but it does have a bit of a blue to it. So we're going to put back in the oven. some more. I moved the bigger pan out and put the smaller pan in because we're going to use the whole packet of the next color in the pan. Much to my son's upset because he likes Kool-Aid. Huh. Also, um, I showed you what the glue looks like. What we're going to do, do with this one here I've decided is I'm going to spot it with all the different colors. So we'll get a rainbow kind of parchment like paper. We'll see how crispy it gets. And then maybe I'll vellum it. Because that'll be kind of cool too. I like vellum paper. I like playing with it. Let's do this one. Maybe. I know one of these now. Because we have to do it on the... Well, no we don't. We can do it like I did it before. We just put it directly on the rack. Don't try this at home in your oven. Unless you want to. Then the same thing with this piece. This one, I used yellow coloring on it. So, I see a little bit of green on the edges. Right here. I don't think that's in focus, so let's see if we can get it back there. Um, but for the most part, it's yellow. <laughs> that's fine, too. I mean, Here's that one. Um, a little bit of blue tinge up here, I think. I don't know. We'd have to compare it to another white piece of paper to see if we thought so or not. Um, yeah, so there's a bit of a blue on the edges up there, but not really a whole lot of blue. Um, like I said, I think less water is going to be better, so we'll see. Though reds do turn out more, and that is a really light blue, so who knows. Here it is on the pan. So we see some creases in there. Um, we're going to dry it now, see how it turns out. 
Okay, so this will be our last blue one. So I'm going to take some of the blue. Pop it on there and drops and see if that changes anything. All right, so that's our last blue one. And then we're going to do, we say we do red after this. Alrighty. Alrighty, we're going to do um, red now. Now I'm going to put the whole packet in and very little water and we're going to see what happens. Though, because it's red, we'll probably have to try another color just to see if, if it turns out, just to see if it would turn out anyway. This is the paper I'm going to put in. And then we're going to take out this one, which is kind of a yellow base paper too. I got some cardstock here that I'm gonna cut and put. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. All right, they have been painted yellow before, so we'll just do it because it's that t that type of paper that we wanted. I'm gonna be doing some painting um, videos in a bit in the next couple weeks. The problem with the smaller amount of water though is it's hard to get the paper covered, so. And I'm only using a couple of the same types of paper, so. This is Kool-Aid dyeing 101, messing it up. <laughs> as, it's, as is typical with me. I got a comment the other day, somebody messaged me and told me that my artwork was crap oh. and that I shouldn't have a crafting channel. That's fun. And I, first I wasn't going to answer him back and then I just answered him back and said, you know what, I just do it because it's fun and I have produced some really beautiful work that my children can attest to. I'm sure they weren't just being nice, but maybe. <laughs> Maybe people were being nice to me, but that doesn't matter either. Alrighty, so I'm going to do yellow next. My All my reds aren't out yet, so I can't show them to you yet. I'm probably going to just make this one big thing. before it looks like so probably not the best blue and yellow but you see that the um, blue and red you see that it doesn't really it layers on top of it it doesn't really blend I mean you got a little bit of purple there but not a lot this is from a cookie cutter metal cookie cutter so that turned out really pretty let's see if I get it because it's still a little wet there. See, that turned out pretty nice. Be an interesting design for sure. So I'm going to take this one. It's not really that yellow, but I'm going to take this one. I don't think this has any yellow on it, actually. And that's got two pages of so we'll do a blue on that. I should leave it just like that. It's kind of cool because it's got a 
wrinkles. Wrinkles. In and then here's another solid. This has got yellow. I put yellow on it, but I spread it around so that it would look really cool. All right. All right. So the yellow didn't turn out at all. Here is yellow. This was already yellow paper. This was already yellow paper. I did get a little blue there. You got a little bit of yellow on that one. And then I did the colors. So the spray red, all that came out was red. So no yellow. These are an example of what Bob Ross says. There are no failures, just happy little mistakes. So, I liked how that turned out. Again, it's not color. Oh, I did forget to do the other thing. But since the yellow didn't come out, it's not going to do any good. Well, I was going to put the yellow spots on the paper. So, that's the way that goes. Alright, so... I want to share my color, my coffee stain paper. This one turned out nice. This is with a, um, so these are the coffee stains that stuck on it, but the little splotchy marks on it is from salt. And I did a thing down here with my cookie cutters and uh, some spray. Here's some more spray, not very coffee like except around the edges. I did some doll dollies. These turned out kind of nice. They're very fragile though, so you, if you do them, you have to be very careful when you take them out. They break very easy. So that was already kind of dark, that one. Mm -hmm. This one turned out alright. I don't like coffee stain. It's hard to get the results you want. Here's where I coffee stained it and sprayed it. This is coffee stain and then put on right directly on the rail. I like this texture there. Um, Again, see, I like those textures like that. Here's some more of those, a little longer. They stayed in a little longer. Here's the folded with the creases in it. Here's some bigger ones. Really like those. This is my coffee stain. I'm going to be doing a um, paper doll journal. So that's for that. Just that one. Again, more of the lines. I like the lines. That was really cool. And then these, of course, were where it pulled. This is where the copy pulled in the thing. And then this parchment paper. I really like the parchment, the uh, tracing paper. This tracing paper. I really like how that came out. I was happy with it. This is streaks and dots again, as, as is this one. And then these were all outside. So these dried outside. These are just spots. So if you like the copy, again, there are so many people out there. I will um, share some of the people I've watched do copy. Not because I need to know how to do it, but just because I wanted to see how theirs turned out. Um, probably better than mine did because I don't, it's not really, I don't like doing copy stain stuff, so it's not my thing. Let me turn my oven off. Anyway, so I'll be doing some more paper creating. You know I do that. I'm going to be doing some paintings where I actually just paint on the paper. Probably lots of rainbows. I do, I'm do. i going to do some waves. And then we're just going to start playing around with all the different various papers I have. But that's it. So I will catch you all on the flip side. I am out of here. This is going to be another one to add to the other one. Um, let's move this this way. Make that one on all those. So that's the end of this particular video. I will catch you all on the flip side. I'm out of here. Peace.